Hello! Today we have the band Short Panic. Um, would you want to say your name and what instrument you play in your funky band? My name is Mitchell Evink. I'm on the bass guitar. My name is David Opoff. I'm electric guitar and vocals. I'm Kyle Keir and I play the drums. Well, to start off, you want to explain how the band name came to be? Uh, we threw around some ideas in a group chat a little bit, you know, how the how they do it nowadays. And uh, Short Panic just kind of came out of that. We had like a few other names that kind of had those words in it, but like not just those two together. And I was like, well, what about this? And it kind of yeah. stuck. So, it was definitely yeah. the best choice. Yeah, it was definitely the best choice, yeah. They were feeling pretty yeah. bad ones. So. We just combined like two kind of average names into Short Panic and it worked out, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'm kind of happy with this good name, I think. Yeah. Okay. How, many, how many originals do you have so far? So, three fully done. Yeah. Four, uh, do they have four in the names? works. Yes. Um, yeah. You want to say the names? Yeah, so three we played today. So we have um, Closure, which is the first one. And then... <laughs> Some <two laughs> right there. Who's that the guy fuck is that? <laughs> Uh, anyway. Hey, get get anyway. get out of here! All right. So we have so we have closure, which is the first song we played, and then today and tomorrow is the second one, and the last one is an instrumental called um, Strawberry Sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very excited to know when those are going to be released. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really sound like it. <laughs> All right, it's just my monotone voice. Um, what's the, your like most favorite to play? Favorite song to play? Yeah. Uh, go we just. All of our answers. We all we all really love the strawberry sauce. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think it's the most Pretty fun. It's, yeah. a, it's instrumental, but like it's a very fun jam to play and you know it's it's just full. tasty. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very tasty. tasty. So what would why don't you like tell me what are your favorite bands are? Like just individually. And then I'll ask what bands are you're like influenced by. Oh, okay. Okay. So just so a deep question. Individual yeah. influences. Okay. Uh, um, I guess from a drummer's standpoint, uh, I was, I've was i always been a big fan of Chad Smith, the drummer for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you know, um, another guy who I've really, oh my God. who I've always, <laughs> dude, get the fuck out of here, man! <laughs> Sorry. Take okay. a yeah. But like, like, the main issue that I, like, well, okay, so going back to drumming, um, one of my favorite drummers is Bernard Purdy, who played on a lot of Steely Dan stuff. I'm a big fan of Steely Dan. Um... You know, my dad, like, played classic rock, you know, the dad rock, you know, when I was growing mm -hmm. up, so that kind of, like, helped with my influence and, I guess, styles. But, like, modern-day artists that I really like, I'm a big fan of Wolfpack. I think Anderson <laughs> Pack is doing some incredible stuff. Um, yeah, those would probably be the guys that I look up to for funk drumming. And Nate Smith. Like, if you haven't heard of Nate Smith, mm -hmm. look up any of his YouTube clips, and he's just a, the king of the pocket, so. That's cool. Yeah. What about you? I say for me, uh, the band that made me want to learn how to play guitar is Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, Jimmy Page. I, just, I love his uh, blues rock playing, and it really pushed me to learn the instrument. After that, I'd say uh, Jimmy Page kind of made me want to learn how to play blues, and then David Gilmer made me want to learn how to play like melodically. So that was my that's my second favorite. And then these days. Um, I say John Mayer is a really big influence ever since I started hearing him. He's an amazing player. Yeah. And then um, most recently would be Corey Wong. He plays with uh, Wolfpack, but he has his own stuff. And that guy, he's uh, he's the funkiest player I've ever heard. Honestly, his tone is insane. And like uh, I'd say that's who uh, that's the kind of sound I strive to get with this um, this funk man. So. I don't care about your. Uh, <laughs> I really don't have a whole lot of influences. God, um, that's so lame. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mitch? I, no I, band I like, that no made, made you want to play bass? Yeah. You just um, looked at a bass and I like, mean, you cool. could say Fleet. Because <laughs> I already said Fleet. It's not, you know. <laughs> I, I, like, <laughs> I like Matt Freeman a lot from Rancid. I think he's an excellent bass player. And that's the only one I can really name. Otherwise, I just try to kind of combine my own styles. Um, a lot of punk music is with a pick, but I, I like my fingers and to really dig in. I try to transfer that over into the uh, the funk band. I think it's worked out pretty well. We've got 
really busy lines. And it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Closure. Yeah. You love that bass line, don't you? Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a certain band that made you want to be like a funk band? I think, well, we started out um, trying to do blues music because yeah, we wanted to be a blues band, but... Like I said, I, I used to be really into the blues, like blues rock, and uh, like Jimi Hendrix, mm -hmm. and like the blues trio, that's what I wanted to do, but then this guy... Yeah, he's pretty just a little much. too he's a little too funky, so it kinda turned into a funk funk. Yeah. <laughs> like we started to we started to try and attempt to do blues, but the main issue was like my beats were really funky, so we just I mean there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, which there wasn't anything wrong with, but I guess that's kind of the direction we decided to go. Funny it was like, thing well, is, we sound pretty solid like this, so let's yeah. keep on I, going. Yeah, I actually never played funk guitar until we decided to come a funk band. I don't so even listen to funk music. I mean, he got me into <laughs> funk music. Kyle got me into funk music, so that helped. That helped. That's helped me a lot with learning how to play it properly. But um, now it's like I, I it's like I, uh, I don't play much else. And my style has changed a lot um, since January, which is when we started. It's hard to get out of the funk mindset. You get lost. You're jamming or anything. You yeah, you get lo you lost. You can really get sauce. lost in the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. So. <laughs> oh, <God. Yeah>. So, <laughs> you guys got the potential to stack dough, or what? Stack dough? That is not what this band you is know, about. You know, we started we started the group just because one, we all love to play music, which just sounds really, it's a super cliche answer, but like, it's true. none of us started this with the idea of making money, because let's be real, we're probably not going to make money, we just like to do it. Yeah. Okay. I just love the feeling of playing on stage, yep. and I haven't been in a band for about a year. That's and, yeah. uh and it's it's, uh, it's kind of hard when you really like doing that, and then you really just don't have much of a chance to do it. So I, I kind of want to start a band with some uh, some guys that I like jamming with, and it's these two. And I really hope we can uh, get back on stage because I love it. I know both of you guys love it too. Oh, we're so. we're gonna get back. Oh yeah, we're. So. <laughs> but I mean, if the dough comes, we're not gonna. <laughs> get it. Yeah, we won't be mad. We're like. <laughs> I'll buy myself a pair of Air Jordans. You know, be real cool. Do you sleep with your socks on or off at night? Off. Off. Why would I sleep with socks okay. on? If you sleep with socks on, guys, that's a deal breaker. That's uh, that's weird. Okay, sorry. I, I didn't say I did. Just, get, I didn't like it. Get out of like here. I just like, told you I did. No. Okay. No, I was just, I ain't about. That's just a question that someone who sleeps with socks on would ask. Yeah. I just, I was just wondering. <laughs> it, no, I totally, I 100% agree. I just wanted to know. Yeah. That's probably why you all like. Are so like good as a band together, you <laughs> oh, all sleep we don't. your socks off. Yeah, Probably that's definitely in part the of same it. bed. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Once so we became a band, we decided to all sleep in the same bed every night too, just as a way to like I mean, get closer okay. and stuff. I don't have to drive. I mean, you home really gotta. You really have to <laughs> build this? up your band chemistry. Oh, yeah. what are we? Okay, all how right. do you feel about <laughs> the digital age? Digital age. Well, when you say the digital age, do you just mean like? What exactly? What social mean? media or? Definitely social media. Okay. I mean, I'm an old soul. Um, most of the time, I try to stay away from it just because at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter because it's not like quote unquote real life. But what's really hard nowadays is if like, you know, trying to get your voice out there in the music industry, social media is such yeah. like an important yeah. part of it now. Yeah. And that's what I've always struggled with personally is just maintaining that social media factor because as someone who hates it, Obviously, that's hard to do. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? It has its uses, especially like you said, in the world of music. You really, you kind of need to, to use it. Yeah. Um, because that, that's where everyone is. Everyone's online. Everyone's checking out pages, listening to bands' pages and their music. Mm -hmm. And um, if even if you don't like it, even though, if you don't use it, maybe just get a page up just so that people have somewhere to click on your band's page. And so they, they know who you are, and um, yeah, it's just it's just a good way to connect with fans. Yeah, that's a good so. point for anyone that wants to start a band watching this. Get a Facebook page because it helps. Even Facebook. if you don't, even no, I, I don't use Yo, get my that Facebook. Page on LinkedIn, but bro. It's helped LinkedIn. A lot. Mm. So yeah, you follow anything? our Instagram at Short Panic. Yep. So to keep yep. updated. With all with pictures of our beautiful faces. Oh yeah, yeah. It's and we'll link our music in our shows. So yep. yeah, give yeah, us a follow. We got some dates going around right now. Yeah. and we'll let you know soon.
Right. You guys have any last words for your loving fans? Thank you I don't for know. watching. Keep on listening <laughs> to funk music. Yeah. Like, because, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all going to stank when we die. So. Who is going to stank when we die? Freaking me out. <laughs> what is that? Are you rock? eating mud? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you eating mud? You okay, Whoa, dude? Can I Get have a bite away of that? from my house. Give me that. That's so unfair. Right. This is the worst day of my life. Okay. All right, be smooth, folks. Thanks. <laughs> we have. Is, your name's Olivia? Yeah. Olivia recording. Yep, featuring a uh, piece of Ryan's cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, look, they look like brothers almost. Yeah, <laughs> they literally do, though. You guys related? No, we are sure? not the same person. You guys look like the look like weird like twins. What the heck? Got something against what twins? The heck? <laughs> no, nothing against twins. Yeah, they just have to look twins. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm a twin. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, well, this is really awkward. I, hate us too, I can't go so. back on my statement. I hate so. us too. So. <laughs> yeah, you get a different film or rhyme, like we can't <laughs> associate. It.